This is Lucas Ross Sports. Lucas Ross, your commentator. We continue our 2022 college football predictions. The Michigan State Spartans are up next. I'll give you an official prediction on this team, give you my thoughts on this team, and go through the schedule, and we will go from there. But before we do that, let's look back at 2021 for this Michigan State team. In 2021, the Michigan State Spartans really surprised a lot of people last year. They went 11 2 overall in 2021. Had some big wins from last year. Really wasn't high on this Michigan State team. They really surprised me definitely from last year. I only had this team going 7 and 5 from last year's team. Overall, in the offense and defensive rankings, 39th on offense last year, as you see the rankings here, 39th on offense. What a great number that is. But not enough to make it into the top 30, but. This Michigan State offense should be really good from last year. You know, they returned really good round of production from this year as well. Defensively, 54th in the country last year. A little bit better, you know, defensively for this year's team. I think I'm expecting defense to be overall pretty better this season for Michigan State, so expect that to be a better defense. The points per game on the offensive side were 31.8 points a game last year. Really good number there. And 25.3 points given up on the defensive side of the ball. Michigan State, you know, a lot of things to expect in 2022. Is it another 10 win year? I'll we'll have to find out. And here's that schedule for 2022 for this Michigan State team. And you see in the opening game against Western Michigan, that's not in, you know, bad game to, to start the year. Um, it's not a bad game to start out the year for Michigan State, Akron as well on September 10th. I think they take care of business in both of these games here. Not saying, you know, I don't think Western Michigan has what it takes to compete with Michigan State, and Akron is just not that good of a team out of that non-conference. So those are two easy wins to kick off the year for Michigan State. So, I mean, they'll win both of those games, take care of business in those. And then there's that game on the road at Washington, a tough place to play here. Pac-12 wasn't that great last year. We know it wasn't great, but Washington wasn't that good of a team last year. This year, Washington should be better than people might say. I mean, I think Washington's going to have a better year this year. You know, I know the schedule was easy for Washington last year, but this is a team that, you know, has a lot coming back on the offensive side of the ball. Eventually, they return a good amount of production on that side as well. And I think with this one being on the road, it's going to be a tough place to play. I got Washington pulling off the win. If Michigan State was ranked in the top 10, maybe top 15, I see Washington, you know, pulling off the upset. I don't think Washington's going to be ranked, but I see it being an upset here. I think it will be an upset, you know, a game that can go either way. But Washington does have home field advantage in this one and also the returning production advantage as well. So that's a loss there. That's a tough loss there for Michigan State. Next game is at home against Minnesota. This is another game that is an interesting one. Minnesota's a team that, you know, is a lot is it is supposed to be a lot better this year. People might say they might won't be better, but I think Minnesota will be a lot better. They have a chance to maybe win the, you know, Big Ten West this year. And you know, Minnesota, Michigan State, this might be a back and forth game. This is gonna be a back and forth game with it being at home though. I really see Michigan State pulling out the win here. I think it is a win here at home. Minnesota will be close with them the entire way. It's a game that I can go it, that can go into the fourth quarter. But at the end of the day, it's going to be Michigan State with the win. Next game is on the road at Maryland. This is not going to be an easy game here. Let me show you guys. Maryland is that team that is going to be a big contender out of the Big Ten East. Maryland could be one of the you know maybe the fourth best team in the Big Ten East, but they're right there. You know, they're right there with Michigan State. I'm saying this game will go back and forth. This is another game I think can go into the fourth quarter with, be, with it being on the road. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think Michigan State is just better than Maryland a little bit. But it's going to be a win there for Michigan State. I see Maryland pulling off an upset here, but I just think Michigan State has more talent. Let's be honest, I think they have more talent. I know Michigan State loses a lot on the offensive side of the ball, but they're still going to be really good. No doubt about that, but I think Michigan State does win on the road at Maryland. Next game is at home against Ohio State. This is going to be a dangerous Ohio State team this year. C.J. Stroud back at quarterback. I'm saying Ohio State is going to be one of the most dangerous offenses in the country. I've been saying it in a lot of my videos so far on the year. You know, Ohio State, you know, C.J. Stroud is definitely on Heisman 
candidate this year. You know, no doubt about it, I think he'll have a good season. We know Michigan State really wasn't that close with Ohio State last year. Could the game be closer this year? Maybe it is in the first half, but second half, I think Ohio State does pull the way. I think the offense is just going to explode here, and I think the Buckeyes will win. I'm not saying it's going to be a blowout. I'm saying maybe it's a two-touchdown type win for Ohio State at the end of the day. That game right there is tough. Let's be honest, Ohio State's going to be a really good team, so watch out for that game. Wisconsin is up next on October the 15th. This is a home game for, for Michigan State. Wisconsin, I think, is going to be a little bit down this year. You know, I'm not really high on them, as people might say they are. But this game is at home, and I think it's a redemption game for Michigan State after taking a beating by Ohio State. And I think Michigan State does get back to winning ways, and I think they do defeat Wisconsin in this one at home. And then they get a bye week, which is really good news there, and then they go on the road at Michigan. This is a rivalry game here. It was a great game last year. Michigan State was able to come out on top. Michigan was a great team. They went to the college football playoff last year. And it's, I just did Michigan's record. You know, if you want to watch that video, I did Michigan last week. So go check that video out. Michigan, though, is a team that, you know, is going to lose a lot on the defensive side of the ball. Let's be honest, they lose a lot. This is going to be a shootout type game. But like I said, I think Michigan does get revenge on the Spartans here. It will be close, but with it being on the road, and I think Michigan does come out on top. I think it's going to be a close game, though. You don't want to really sleep on it. You know, it's a robbery game. You can go either way. But I think Michigan is clearly the better team. You know, I don't think Michigan State will have their number this year, but it will be a close game. No doubt about it. It will be a close game. Next game is on the road at Illinois. Illinois is a little bit down this year as well. Not really high on this team either. I think I could see Michigan State going in here on the road at Illinois and beating them by, you know, somewhat of a blowout, probably a blowout. But, you know, I think it's a game that can, you know, give them a scare a little bit. But I think after that beating against Michigan, they start, they start out slow. But I think Illinois, you know, won't be really even close with Michigan State. I think the Spartans will win on the road here at Illinois. Rutgers is up next here on November 12th. Rutgers are a team that, you know, people are expecting to be good this year. You know, they might be one of those underdogs in the Big Ten East, but I don't really see the Rutgers being all that explosive this year, to be honest. They're not going to be a great team. They might be somewhat of a good team, but I think Michigan State does win on the at home against the Rutgers. Indiana's up next here at home. Indiana's probably going to be a lot, lot better than they were last year, but I'm not really high on this Indiana team either. I don't really have them, you know, in a winning season this year either so you saw my Indiana video I wasn't really high on this team either so I mean I think Michigan State they will win this one at home and I think they do get it done next game and on the final game on the road at Penn State this is a rival game here as well it's a tough place to play Michigan State and Penn State Penn State a little bit good this year I mean the question is how good will they be that is the question there I mean they might be one of the you know, maybe then they're not in that top three category for the top three teams in the Big Ten, but it's still going to be a tough game. Let's be honest, it's still a tough game on the road at Penn State. It's a tough environment to play at, but, you know, it's a game that can go either way. I have to go back and forth on this one, but I think Michigan State gets it done. I think Michigan State does finish strong on the season. They end it with a four-game winning streak. So the record for 2022 for Michigan State is 9-3. and three. I think this is a respectable record here. You know, this team can go 10-2. and two. They can go 11-1 with a loss to Ohio State. I don't really see them beating Ohio State this year. Let's be honest, Ohio State's going to be dangerous. Washington, they could still win that game and go 11-1. Maybe 10-2 and two is possible. But 9-3 and three is the record for Michigan State. Give me your thoughts on this team down in the comments below. And stay tuned here for more on Lucas Ross Sports.